Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be a slow video. This is not going to be a hyper video because I just really want to talk to you guys. Um, there are times where I just want to quit vlogging or quit YouTubing once and for all because there are plenty of reasons why you get easily demotivated or you just don't feel the energy anymore. And one of those reasons is when you don't get enough views from people. You exerted all these efforts, you spent all the time and energy that you have to produce something to show to people, but then, and you don't get the right response from them, and that really demotivates a person like me. Uh, today, it's gonna be a different kind of vlog. It's not gonna be a funny one. Uh, let's be serious this time because today I read something on Facebook and it really touched me. And this person is a small time YouTuber just like me and I feel her frustration because when I started vlogging, when I started my channel, I barely get views. I'm lucky to get 20 views in one video that I make and I share her frustration because I know what it feels like to not have anyone view your video. I mean, you spent all these hours, you spent all your energy, and you have all these emotions built up when you were doing this video. And then after producing the video, after posting on YouTube, you don't get the response you want. And it's very frustrating sometimes. It's not easy. And you know what? This, just, this is not just on YouTube alone. It happens in life, actually. Sometimes we exert too much effort on something, but the result that we get is is far different from what we had hoped and it happens all the time. I mean, you have to agree on that because life in general is unfair and nobody said life is easy. Life is actually very hard. When I started my channel, I was very excited. I was, I was really hopeful that it, this is something that I really want to do, that people will like my content, but it's not always the case. Most of the time, I don't get the response that I want from people and that's that's something that really hurts me as a person. It makes me emotional. But then again, this happens to most YouTubers, especially those who are just starting your channel. There will be a lot of hurdles. There will be many problems along the way. I think the key ingredient there is that you just have to keep moving forward. You just have to keep going because it's gonna be a bumpy road. And that's what really makes it fun. A few months ago, I just wanted to quit. I just wanted to quit once and for all. Like, I'm doing this for the wrong reason. I'm probably not gonna become big. I'm probably not gonna be successful in this. I'm probably not gonna end up like what I have dreamed to be. And it's frustrating. It's, it's just, it's something that really hurts me. And I don't know what else to do. I quit my job. I, I quit everything. It's a big risk for me, what I'm doing right now, but do I just stop once and for all? Do I just quit everything and just leave everything behind and you know sell all my filming stuff? That's what keeps running around my head for the past few days. And then I ask myself, what is my goal again in doing this? What is my goal again in having a YouTube channel? What is my goal in filming? What is my goal again to reach out to people? Am I in competition with other YouTubers? Is there a secret formula that other famous YouTubers do that I'm not doing to get all those views and to have all those hundreds and thousands of subscribers? I don't know. All these questions arise in my head every time I feel frustrated about my videos. But then one question really hit me. Have I given it my all? Have I given everything that I have? Have I done everything to make it work? So I started reflecting and I realized that I just need to go further. I need to move on. I need to do everything I can to make things work. I told myself that I need to aim higher. I need to tell myself that I have to stop saying that I am fine. You know what? I actually hate that word. I'm fine. Because you know what? That's an excuse. The truth of the matter is you're not fine. Because saying that you're fine is as easy as saying that Okay, I'm fine right here. You guys do your thing. I'm, I'm okay. But when you say that you're great, that's actually something else. That is something bigger. That means you're doing great. That means you're actually excelling on something that you're doing. I realize that you have to go out of your comfort zone. Because when you start being comfortable, that's the time you become stagnant. That's the time you stop improving yourself. There is a five-second rule. Everyone needs 
five seconds to decide on something. If after that five seconds you contemplated on something, then you're probably not gonna do it. So for example, someone asks you, do you wanna be successful in YouTube? You instantly say yes in less than five seconds. But if you answer after five seconds, do you wanna be successful in YouTube? And you say no, then you probably don't want to be successful. You all need five seconds to decide on something. You have to be assertive in what you want. If you really want to achieve something, you have to make everything that counts. You need to exert all the effort that you can to make things work. And with the question that I asked earlier, am I in competition with other YouTubers? No, you're not. YouTube is a, it's a big world out there and there are so many people there, but you are not in competition with any of them. The only person that you're in competition with is yourself. Many times I would just think that I would quit and just stop everything right now. I ask myself, have I given it my all? Probably have not. I have not given my all. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep moving forward and think about my goal and just focus. Promise to do everything that I can to, to achieve that goal and to make it happen. And you know what? After doing all of that, after exerting everything that you can, the validation comes in. Those validations will confirm if you did something right. Because every time I want to quit, every time I just want to delete my channel, my phone would beep and I would have a comment from one of my videos, like these things. All of these are from people who watch me and it makes me feel so good that I may not be touching thousands of people yet, but I know that they believe in me. I know that they actually see something great in me and that's just what keeps me moving forward. You have to surround yourself with people who actually believe in you and you need to give them something to hold on to. You need to actually make them believe. And before you actually make these people believe in you, you have to believe in yourself first. That's what you have to do. When you start believing in yourself, that's when you do great. That's when you actually exert everything and do more. And that's the only time you can tell people that, that, hey, I did this and I think I did great. And then the confirmation comes from them. Success doesn't have an overnight. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of your energy, your time, your money, your effort, everything. These things really count. If you're not willing to be devastated and learn from your mistakes, you will never go far. And remember, never, never, never stay in your comfort zone. You need to be uncomfortable. You need to keep proving. And the only competition you have is yourself. I hope I said something nice today. I'm not even sure. I just want to reach out to all of you guys, to everyone like me, a small YouTuber who's aspiring to somehow share something to the table and be different. So remember kids, just keep moving forward.